Welcome to the Rice County Historical Society. In the last episode, I talked a little bit about the September 7, 1876 bank robbery, or attempted bank robbery, by the James Younger Gang on the Northfield National Bank. The Northfield Historical Society and the defeat of Jesse James Days do an amazing job of telling that piece of the story, but the Rice County story is much more than just that single day. For us, it was not only that event, but also the two weeks where the gang was pursued by the posse, where they were captured, and the James, or the remaining younger gang, and uh, that were transported from that capture location to Faribault, where they were held for two full months during the grand jury trials. Some of the uh, some of the things that we use to tell that story are primary artifacts. And those are original things, not just things that have been interpreted, but the original artifacts themselves. For example, this book. This is a ledger book. It's not very exciting, frankly. It's a listing of names and dollar amounts. But what is amazing about this book is it's a listing of those who were submitting bills to the state of Minnesota. You can see an example of one of those ledger bills that were issued. This is a bill for participation in as a posse member. What's remarkable about this is that this becomes a definitive list of men who did actually participate in the posse. And so if you're wondering whether or not you have a relative who's participated, we at least have one list that is an absolute. If they're listed here, they participated. Interesting yet somewhat gruesome artifact we have. This is a bullet that was actually removed from Charlie Pitts at by the coroner when he was uh, killed at that capture site on September 21st, 1876. But one of the one of the pieces that we have in the collection with a really interesting story is this pocketbook. And I'm actually going to read to you the story that was written by the donor. This book um, is titled, or this piece that I have here is titled The Bob Younger Pocketbook. This pocketbook, together with a revolver, fell from the pocket of Bob Younger of the Jesse James gang as the bandits were fleeing in great confusion from the scene of the Northfield bank robbery, September 7, 1876. Charles Schofield, son of Dr. John L. Schofield, unaware of the tragedy which had just taken place, happened to be standing on the front porch of his father's house when the robbers galloped by. A sudden jolt caused Younger's arm to fall, and the revolver and pocketbook slipped out of his coat pocket and fell to the road where Charles picked them up. The purse contained a $10 bill, some business cards, and some stamps. This was presented by the Rice, to the Rice County Historical Society by Robert L. Schofield, son of Charles, in April 1835. So these pieces help us do what is our mission, which is to help preserve Rice County history for past and future generations.